50 Lounge backstage sponsored by Denim Girls. We're here with um, Book of Rap, producer, and the man that's going to basically take the movie game by storm. We're here with Ron Elliott. Ron, thank you for being on the line. Thank you, man, for having me, bro. I know you guys are busy. I appreciate it. Uh, the Lost Book of Rap, y'all come out, look for it, check it out. The website is thelostbookofrap.com. It is a awesome movie, 1988 Brooklyn Golden Age of Rap. You know, we're taking it back to the Dookie Road chain. You got the Pumas on. You know what I'm saying? You got his gazelles in his pockets. You know, we're going back there, you know, giving homage to, you know, the legendary rappers. Uh, we're going back to Melly Mel. We're going back to Hurt. We're going back to Bambada. I mean, 5% is what nobody's never seen a movie with 5% is in it right now. So, I mean, this is a family movie. And, you know, we're we really delving into the aspect of the purity, the essence of where hip hop is, was, and what it means to us as a culture. Where do you want this movie to, where you want it to take you? Take you, what avenue you looking for this movie to go into and then take you into your career of producing? Well, you know, to me, I, I, I really believe that this this movie, and I, I love hip hop. You know, I started out making money doing film in hip hop. I used to work for Hype Williams. I did work for Spike. I did work for, you know, a lot of folks, Puffy. I did, so you I got, did so basically, you got educated. In, in hip hop, and, and this, and, but also educated in producing movies and stuff. Exactly, you know? and so I, I love the, the combination of hip hop and film, and I, I think that quality work. So my my idea with this film is to show something that is, you know, family driven. You know, you got that Disney feel, but right. you know, you know, I, I want I want to have a message. So I believe that me right. as an artist, it's my responsibility that beginning that God gave me this talent. That I'll be able to give back to someone by saying, you know, you know, inspiring you to be able to do something better for yourself with my talent, my artwork. I'm hoping that I'm using the vehicle of hip hop and the vehicle of my my artistry of film and filmmaking and, and, and writing, be able to do that. And I believe that this 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 story, the Lost Book of Rap, can do that. And you know, moving forward, you know, I have five other projects that are in the slate of coming out. Um, I have a documentary that's out right now on Hurricane Sandy. And it's you know it's a rebuilding effort on the Jersey Shore, you know. So my 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 talent, I would like to you know get my own little lane, you know, with what I learned with the people that I learned it from, and be able to create stories that will actually you know change a person's life. Well, listen, bro, whatever it's like you got a lot, of, you got your hands on a lot of things, and you got a lot of positive things. I think we got so much negative out here, so it's good when we bring a brother like you on our show and you bring positivity in what you're doing. God bless you what you're doing, bro. Must accept. Listen, the book of rap is not a book you can buy in a store. You have to come and buy a movie ticket to see <laughs> the book of rap, all right? We'll have the little words, little bouncing balls, you know, for people that don't care. But anyway, thanks for stopping by the lounge. I hope it won't be the first, it won't be the last time. And when you come with your other movies, yo, feel free to come in, man. Yo, I right. appreciate y'all, man. All right, listen, 950 Lounge, backstage, Ed, take us out.